Hey YouTube, uh, I'm going to uh, do a video on how to replace your barn doors. I have my big barn doors, they're, they're real old, someone put them together if you can see here, we'll move up. <clears throat> they were, uh, they put them together, they used some uh, rough cut and uh, they're just old and they're, they're uneven and they just don't hold anything out. And I was looking for some videos on <clears throat> Uh, how to make some good barn doors. I'm going to make some red ones with the white um, X's on them and uh, we'll see how they turn out. But I'm going to show you how I do it and maybe give you a good idea. Okay, inside the barn now and this plywood here, these are going to be the doors. i got to cut them all down and uh, I'm going to paint them now. Uh, paint them red, barn red paint I got, and uh, and then I'll start cutting them down. So let's get them painted up. Well, as you can see, I got the uh, two pieces of plywood all painted. Uh, I got a coat on. I'm going to actually put three coats on, even though it's pretty good exterior uh, barn red paint. Um, I'm just going to put... I'm just going to put uh, three coats on just because it takes a, that door over there takes a brunt of, uh, of weather. It takes a lot of wind and rain and um, it seems to come from that door. If my rooster would be quiet there. But um, there's the first coat on. I just, I'm going to paint everything up before I start cutting and then we'll go from there. Alright guys, uh, quick update where I'm at so far. Uh, cut off. All my trim, I'm going to use 2x4s for the trim around the outside of the door. Uh, I cut down the doors already and I have three coats of red paint on it. Uh, that should be plenty. Um, on these pieces that I cut for the trim already, uh, I put a coat of uh, sealer primer on it because these are going to be outdoor uh, exposed to the outside and I want them to, in that doorway there, it takes a lot of wind and rain and snow and it gets hit pretty hard, so I want to make sure I have as much weatherproofing uh, as I can on the door. So that's where I'm at now. Uh, I'll be putting the trim on next, and so uh, I'll get started on that and then uh, give you an update. All right, I got some of my trim pieces that are going around the door. They're all cut and painted, and I'm going to show you how I put them on. That's our little graphic me and the kids put on the one stall so <laughs> uh, but here it is here what you want to do is you want to find a, f a flat spot this is about the flattest spot in my barn here and you want to kind of lay out the outside with the part you want outside facing down uh, then I'm going to go take one of these uh, doors I already have cut and you're going to want to put the red side down on top of it Then you'll square it up on top of uh, and if I cut it right, it should fit pretty close. <laughs> That's a big F. around to get them squared up. And then once you get it all Square it up, all you're going to do is uh, put some screws into it. I have some inch and five eighths screws I'm going to be using. You just 
going to screw that right down to the uh, table all the way around. And then I'm going to stand it up and put my middle piece in. And I'll show you that when I'm done with this. So, see you in a few minutes when I get this all screwed on. All right. Once you have all that done, this is what it's going to look like. You're going to have all your trim around. Now you're going to want to put your middle piece halfway up. And I already have a pre-cut. Um, you want it to be a little snug so it will hold its place in there. And all I'm going to do is measure halfway up to the top. And I'm going to put it in the center. Screw it on from the back. And then uh, you'll have your outskirts all on and then we'll work on the, the cross in the middle. So let me get this screwed on. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, there is the door all frame. I got both of them down there, if you can see. And then I am going to do on the bottom here, I am going to be putting a, an X, white X. And then uh, I'll be painting the back all white. And then after that, they'll be ready to hang. So I'm gonna get to work on the X's. All right, I got all my X's cut out. They just need a little bit of adjusting like that and get it all square. But I'm going to take them all out and paint them all up. And then I'll... Well, uh, these X's are a little tricky to cut with uh, two by fours. If I was probably doing this, I might just put the back two by fours and put one by threes around the edge. Uh, these angles were a little bit tough to cut with a with a saw, but it, it doesn't matter either way. It took me about 45 minutes to cut all these out, these X's. So I'm going to take these out, paint them up, put a couple coats of paint on them, and then I'll get them screwed on and show you what they look like all painted up. Okay, the doors, uh, front of the doors are all done. Uh, I got it all um Installed. There's just a couple little things I'm going to do. If you can see in that one corner down there, there's a little bit of a gap. I'll try to zoom in. I'm going to cock that in a little bit just to make it look a little cleaner. But the doors are done with construction wise. I am going to paint the backs of them white. I got to put two coats on that. I'm going to do that tomorrow and then I'm going to hang them this weekend. So there are the finished doors. That's what they'll look like from the outside when they're on. And uh, they'll have a couple of handles and some hardware on them. But uh, that's basically it. So uh, next stage will be hanging them on. Okay, today is installation day. I'm putting the doors in. I have the old ones off. You can see them there leaning against the fence. That is the opening. And there are my other doors. They're all painted up, ready to go. Put a couple of coats of white on the back. You can see that. The only thing I had to prepare the edge here was there's that board that goes across the top. I had to add that little piece there because it just, I don't know why they didn't have a piece across there, but that will seal up against the top. That's what's going to rest against. And I'll paint that all white and frame it all in once I have the doors all hung. So let's get installing. All right, I got the doors all propped up. Let me show you what I'm doing. I'm getting them all leveled up before I put the hinges on. Um, and uh, But that's what they're gonna look like from the inside. I'm gonna get the, the squared up, because these posts, if you can see, these posts are a little, over the years, they've just come out of uh, level. So I have to get the doors level, and I kinda accounted for that when I cut them. And I'll get the doors all level and then uh, I'll put the hinges on. Then we'll be able to swing it, but I'll show you what the front looks like. Let's walk around. You can see that. That's what it will look like when they're all done. So, but right now I'm going to get the hinges all hung on, so go from there. There is the finished doors. Got them all painted up, the trim on, and all painted up, and there it is. And I wish this fence wasn't in the way. You could get a better look, but I'll try to go over top a little bit so you can get a 
better look over the fence, but here it is through the fence anyway, and on the side. Now uh, they turned out pretty good. I'm very happy with it. I'll show you the inside what I did. And uh, but here real quick is the outside. All I did was put these one by three furring strips on each side. If you can see that. And then just painted up the trim and then put a couple handles on. Uh, but let's go around inside and I'll show you the inside. Okay, here is the inside. Uh, the doors are just painted white. I put this little piece over here to cover the center. It's attached to this door. So when you close it, it kind of seals it up. Put a couple handles on. Uh, put two uh, locks on the side. And I also put uh, eye hook here to catch. So when you want to close it, they'll stick or open it. They'll stay open. And uh, so that's what the that's what it that's the finished product. So pretty happy with how it turned out. It wasn't too hard. Just took a was very time consuming because of all the painting and uh, I wanted to make sure I put a couple coats of paint or a bunch of a few coats of paint on everything so it would. Uh, stay pretty sealed up for the wind for when winter comes so but there they are pretty pretty uh, easy I say the doors probably totally total cost me with all everything probably about $130 uh, $140 well maybe maybe add another $25 $30 because of the paint about two gallons of paint but uh, all the hardware and all the the boards and wood uh, it was fairly fairly reasonable so uh, hope that helps you if you're looking to make a, a barn door uh, I really enjoyed making it so uh, and any questions don't hesitate to make a comment below or anything and uh, I'll answer uh, any questions you might have so take care thank you and, and God bless